Let's just go. I always no times. I because I don't know why it does that. I, ch I changed my bit rate. I, I lowered my Dearest, bit rate down. So the gulls do not land here. Anymore. We'll see if that helps out. I've noticed that this year they seem to shun the place. Maybe it's the depletion of the fishing stock driving them away. Perhaps it's me. When you first landed here, Donnelly wrote that the herds were sickly, and their shepherds the lowest of the miserable classes that populate these Hebridean islands. Let me drown. Three hundred years later, even they have departed. Oh shit, did I really drown? Oh, I'm dead, dude. I, I, I... Whoops. Whoops. Hey, let's go. Hey, I got a trophy, dude. Let's go, dude. No. Right off the bat, dude. I'm the best gamer there ever was. I gotta follow my instincts at all times. I know we gotta get better or more, um, more Luna photos. I mean, I have a lot of Luna photos. I need more. I need more sub points if I want more. Um, if I want more emotes. So this is like a chemistry thing, something like that. Is there, I don't, just walking around, I'm trying to make sure I don't, is there anything I, I need to press or anything like that? Nice toilet. Ooh, that's nasty. That's nasty. Lurking. Thank you, Katie. I know you're tired. They said? Okay. Uh, it said, from what I saw, the average playthrough was about like an hour and a half. So, probably give or take 15, 30 minutes for myself. Sometimes it takes me a little bit longer. I think the thing I liked about the Edith, yeah, the Edith Finch game was like when you looked down, you could see yourself. You actually saw that you were pregnant, you know, and things like that. I actually really like that. You know, a lot of these games, you just look down, you don't see anything, but it's really cool to to see what you're wearing, you know, your 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 hands and feet and stuff like that. How's this? How is the stream running for you guys? Is it is it okay? Is it not buffering anymore? I think it might have just been a, a bit rate issue. Way better. Okay, good. That that that's probably it then. When you were born, your mother told me a hush fell over the delivery room. A great red birthmark covered the left side of your face. No one knew what to say, so you cried to fill the vacuum. I always admired you for that, that you cried to fill whatever vacuum you found. I began to manufacture vacuums just to enable you to deploy your talent. The birthmark faded by the time you were six and had gone completely by the time we met, but your fascination with the empty and its cure remained. I know I saw... I know I saw a staircase back there. This is, um... This is that one thing, right? It's like that... It's the... Geometry, kind of everything, is in works with this kind of figure, like the the spiral of a of a. Oh, was it like an oyster? Is it an oyster or? I can't remember what it was, but everything kind of fits within this this figure. It's like a math thing. So far, I think the game looks pretty damn good, visually. Definitely a, a little bit of a different art style compared to Edith, Edith Finch. 
Dear Esther, I found myself to be as featureless as this ocean, as shallow and unoccupied as this bay, a listless wreck without identification. My rocks are these bones and a careful fence to keep the precipice at bay. That it? Shot through me caves. All right. My forehead a mount. All right, can't this go back. aerial will transmit into me so. All overexposed, the nervous system, where Donnelly's boots and yours and mine still will trample. I will carry a torch for you. I will leave it at the foot of my headstone. You will need it for the tunnels that carry me under. Okay, we'll go up the, go up to the uh, the staircase now. I do wish there was a sprint option on these games. Um, you know, I think a lot of times it's it's fine looking around and stuff like that, but definitely times where you just like, just let me go, you know? Like for these long, like, treks. There's a lighthouse that we were at over there. So there's definitely like two two pathways to get to the same place. And that was the thing too with Edith Finch was like it was a very linear game. Like you you, you could. This book had not been taken out from the library since 1974. I decided it would never be missed as I slipped it under my coat and avoided the librarian's gaze on the way out. If the subject matter is obscure, the writer's literary style is even more so. It is not the text of a stable or trustworthy reporter. Perhaps it is fitting that my only companion in these last days should be a stolen book written by a dying man. Um, as I was saying, like with with Edith Edith Finch, it was nice because it was a very linear story. But you did still, you know, have the option to look around and whatnot, but it still kind of just kept you going. When someone had died or was dying, or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, they cut parallel lines into the cliff. Nice, look at that. Exposing the white chalk. Beneath. Clouds moving. I don't see that a lot in games. You could see them from the mainland or the fish. Red dead. And know to send aid, or impose a cordon of protection, and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff path died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this. I don't want to restart, to be otherwise I'd jump off. The infection is not simply of the flesh. This is two, two different sections. Very nice, very pretty. I quote directly, a motley lot with little to recommend them. I have now spent three days in their company. That is, I fear, enough for any man not born amongst them. Despite their tedious inclination to quote scripture, they seem to me the most godforsaken of all the inhabitants of the Outer Isles. Indeed, in this case, the very gravity of that term, forsaken by God, seems to find its very apex. What if I need to get to that little red... It appears to me that Donnelly, too, found red those light. who wander this shoreline to be adrift from any chance of redemption. <laughs> Did he include himself in that, I wonder? You're making Ryan mad. It's just a flesh wound. I wonder if I hope he didn't miss anything up there. I don't think so though. So literally Dear every Esther, 
every button is just I a zoom in. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiralled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. Okay, I don't think going up the rocks... It makes sense to have to go in the cave. Or, so there's the cave, or go this way. I find myself increasingly unable to find that point where the hermit ends and Paul and I begin. We are woven into a sodden blanket, stuffed into the bottom of a boat to stop the leak and hold back the ocean. My neck aches from staring up at the aerial. It mirrors the dull throb in my gut where I am sure I've begun to form another stone. In my dreams, it forms into a perfect representation of Lot's wife, head over her shoulder, staring along the motorway at the approaching traffic in a vacuum of fatalistic calm. I saw this in the very beginning. I'm trying to... At first I thought maybe they'd be like... Native American or some sort of indigenous symbols or something like that. It looks like lightning or roots connected to something. Trees. That's, that's about that for that. What is this? Smurf sperm? Mine's Amoria. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, like when you right, when you first get there and it lights up. That was a great scene. I always forget about that. I always forget about the monster. And then just so you guys know, after this game, we'll do some react stuff. Some there's some cut and jubilee things, and some other videos that I wanted to to check out with you guys. I don't know if George is, George will be here. He sent me a video. I've been waiting for him to be online to watch it with him. I thought it was a little fish. He still maintains he wasn't drunk, but tired. I can't make the judgment or the distinction anymore. I was drunk when I landed here, and tired too. I walked up the cliff path in near darkness and camped in the bay where the trawler lies beached. It was only at dawn that I saw the bothy and decided to make my temporary lodgings there. I was expecting just the aerial and a transmitter stashed in a weatherproof box somewhere on the mount. It had an air of uneasy permanence to it. Like all the other buildings here, erosion seems to have evaded it completely. So he's still talking about Paul. Paul was drinking. Like drinking and driving maybe? That was, does he feel, Paul feel guilty or something? Thing over here. That's where we. That's where we want. We were right there. A fun chapter. Oh, that's good. I know you said it was getting kind of boring for a little bit. I wonder. I've, I've never read any Game of Thrones books, but I feel like George kind of would go into like heavy detail, almost a bit too much into detail. He seems like that kind of person. And with, with books, you know, you do a lot of authors go into detail, but it's like no one to stop, you know. John fought his first walker, nice. 
Jon Snow. You guys see my my uh my pineapple light up there? And then K the the light Katie gave me too with my name on it is on as well, but it's a little hard to see that one. Yeah, I have it on. I just I wish you could see it a little bit better. Should I just should I go down here? Ah, fuck it. Did I fuck up? Dear Esther, I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. I thought I died. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses, and have cross-referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve yeah. as some evidence. I'd love a big neon sign. It's somewhere sign. between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, okay, I've so I jumped down. Been unable to pull ashore. Yeah. Listen to this music, though. I actually, I really like Kit Harrington. I liked, I liked him in the in the series. I thought he did a really good job. Um. Yeah, I was at Best Buy the other day, and I was looking at all the lights that they had, and they have a, a light for for this light up here. This light has been broken for years, and it's a little light bulb that changes, and it could like go with music and stuff like that. So I definitely want to get it. It's like 50, 50 bucks, something like that. There's a cheaper version and the better version. I think I'd want to get the better version. But you can like use a remote with it and stuff. I'd like to do that. Okay, I'm going to look over here first, and then we'll go down there. Obviously, there's stuff down there. Looks like a train or oil, not oil rig or not oil rig, a um, shipping boat. Okay. Oh shit, we traveled. Posture check. Is my posture that bad? Also, I'm sorry. I uh, I turned off a lot of the channel points for like this kind of game. <laughs> I just kind of try to get as immersed in it as possible. The tires are flat. The wheel spins loosely, and the brake fluid has run like ink over this map, staining the landmarks and rendering pretty. the coastline mute compromised. Where you saw galaxies, I saw only bruises cut into the cliff by my lack of sobriety. Is it, what does that say? Nor something did he eat nor drink. Something about or we'll, we'll read it when we get over there. Something about not eating or drinking. I really can't be the only one that, like, when you're playing a video game or, like, even watching a movie, that, like, you move into, like, if you if something's like, on the other side of a wall, you're, like, you know, fully immersed, I guess. To the mail slot, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a first-person game. You know what I mean? It's like it makes it makes sense. I know I'm not the only one that does that. So I'm not gonna say I feel stupid. But it is kind of dumb and silly. I, 
I think it'd be kind of cool, and I think it would make sense if we saw a little bit more, oh, like some some birds or some some sort of animal life here, even if it was just a little bit, you know, a couple squirrels or a couple, you know, seagulls or something up here, you know. Yeah, and I, I it's that's good to hear, Ryan. I'm glad I'm not alone. <laughs> You're not we're not so different, you and I. Alright buddy, start talking to me. All the, all these boxes. Yeah, just a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, I think for something like this, where where it is just very linear, you know, walking, I, you definitely need a little bit more stuff to interact with, I feel. Um, I did like that with with Edith, and I did like that with Gone Home, too. Gone Home was really nice for the fact that, like, you could interact with everything, you know? Like, even if it had nothing to do with the story, you could still interact with it, which I thought was really cool. I remember Croc, uh, Croc and I talking about that. There must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. Uh, another one of those How signs. Else could new hermits have arrived? Can't jump or anything like that, so... I'm trying to read what this says over here. What's up, Hertz? How you doing, man? It's good to see you. I'm doing okay. My, my stream was kind of messing up a little bit earlier, but I think we, we got it figured out. I'm trying to read what this, what this says over here. I can't read it. I think it, it says something about not eating or drinking. Something neither and neither neither did he eat nor drink. That's what it says. And neither did he eat or drink. Okay, so we got that. Sounds good, man. Thank you so much for the lurk. I'll talk to you soon, buddy. I'll be on for a good portion of the night. Be doing some reacts later if you and the missus want to join in. kidney stones and you visited me in the hospital after kidney, the operation when stones. i was still half submerged in anesthetic your outline and your speech both blurred now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk rendered opaque by the car of a drunk does that mean i died that that sounds like i got hit right Okay, so we came we came from down there. We're gonna go up here. Dude can you imagine if World of Warcraft looked like this, like had this kind of graphics? Dude, I would never leave that game. I'd be on that game 24-7. I've begun my ascent on the windless slope of the western side. The setting sun was an inflamed eye squeezing shut against the light shone in by the doctors. My neck is aching through constantly craning my head up to track the light of the aerial. I must look downwards, follow the path under the island to a new beginning. Ryan, have you seen the movie Stranger Than Fiction with uh, Will Ferrell, Emma, Emma Thompson? And I, it's not. It's not Zoe. De, is it Zoe Deschanel? I remember what the girl. Who the girl was? I don't think it's. It's not Zoe Deschanel, but it's Will. Will Ferrell plays the main character, Dustin Hoffman. Ben. 
basically it's about this guy played by Will Ferrell who's a, a, a normal the Bothy was constructed originally in the early 1700s. By then, shepherding had formalized into a career. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jakobsen from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the Bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. Donnelly records that it did not work. He caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. There was no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him, either. Carve white lines into the cliff. I wonder if that's what we've been seeing with those... those markings. This music. <laughs> Yeah, so this has to be the, the white lines or the whatever the little things people draw. But uh, basically, so Stranger Than Fiction, Will Ferrell plays this IRS auditor and he uh, he starts hearing this woman's voice narrating everything he does and it tells him the narration tells him that he's about to die and it's like it's perfect like everything is accurate about what the what the uh, what the voice is saying and that's played by Emma Thompson um, who plays an who plays an author in the movie and uh, it's really really good it's 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 in my opinion I think it's Will Ferrell's best movie ever acting wise I, I, it, he, he just kills it. it just, it's one of my favorite movies. Uh, but anyways, the narration of this guy kind of reminds me of that, like similar style, because Emma Thompson is also from Europe. I think she's British as well. So it's like another cave down there. Anyways, if you haven't seen it, it's a very, very, very good movie. I, I highly recommend it. Like I said, I think a lot of people just, they, you know, they, they only know Will Ferrell for being the comedian. You know, Joker kind of guy. But after seeing him in that movie, you, you, you definitely see him in a new light. I respect him a lot more as an actor. I respected him before as a comedic actor, but just as an actor. When the oil lamps ran out, I didn't pick up a torch, but used the moonlight to read by. When I've pulled the last shreds of sense from it, I will throw Donnelly's book from the cliffs and perhaps myself with it. Maybe it will wash back up through the caves and erupt from the spring when the rain comes, making its return to the hermit's cave. Perhaps it will be back on the table when I wake. I think I may have thrown it into the sea several times before. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, asked, I asked for a bird. I asked for a damn bird, and they gave me a fucking bird. This is why I don't play any horror games, dude. This is why I don't play horror games, dude. I got scared by a bird. Do I, am I supposed to go down here? Yeah. Yeah, I think most people um, underestimate comedic actors. Um, like you look at someone like Jim Carrey, right? But Jim Carrey In a is... footnote, the editor comments that at this point Donnelly was going insane as syphilis tore through his system like a drunk driver. He's not to be trusted. 
Many of his claims are unsubstantiated, and although he does paint a colorful picture, much of what he says may have been derived directly from his fever. But I've been here, and I know, as Donnelly did, that this place is always half imagined. Even the rocks and caves will shimmer and blur with the right eyes. Um, like you look at someone like Jim Carrey, right, who played Eternal, uh, Sunshine of a Spotless Mind, or The Majestic, you know, The Truman Show. A lot of comedians, you know, their comedy comes from a great deal of pain, you know. It's like they found Jacobson in early spring. The thaw had only just come. Even though he'd been dead nearly seven months, his body had been frozen right down to the nerves and had not even begun to decompose. All around him, small flowers were reaching for the weak sun. The goats had adjusted happily to life without a shepherd and were grazing freely about the valley. Donnelly reports they hurled the body in fear and disgust down the shaft. But I cannot corroborate this story. Um, but yeah, it, it, Kevin Hart, again, someone very, very, very funny. Who could probably also do really well in dramatic stuff, but the money is obviously where in comedy he makes it. That's where a lot of those people shine. It's hard for people to, to get out of that box of, you know, once you're seen as just the funny guy or the clown, it's hard for people to look at you seriously sometimes, unfortunately. I think it goes vice versa too. See, some people are too, Climbing down to the caves, too dramatic. I slipped and fell and have injured my leg. I think the femur is broken. It is clearly infected. The skin has turned a bright, tight pink, and the pain is crashing in on waves. Winter tides against my shoreline, drowning out the ache of my stones. I struggled back to the bothy to rest, but it has become clear that there is only one way this is likely to end. The medical supplies I looted from the trawler have suddenly found their purpose. They will keep me lucid for my final ascent. I should have gone to the right first and then and then came into the cave from here this last time I have understood there is no turning back the torch is failing along with my resolve and hear the singing of the I can't, look, I can't look around from the passages above me and they are promising the return of the gulls um there's this place in Mexico called Toxco. It's a silver mining um, town. And you can go in the caves, and it looks just like this. It's super pretty. It's really, 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 really cool. Are we in, like, even at Disneyland, we have the, th the Big Thunder Mountain. The very beginning has this kind of. This kind of. I don't remember what this is called, though. Obviously, like from erosion and the water drips down. Can you imagine making a pool up like a backyard pool with this kind of vibe? Like a grotto. Yeah. That's how all these games are, man. Like, I don't know if you watched um, my my gameplay of Gone Home, Ryan, but when uh, Katie was watching it with me and, and, and Kraka, and the entire time I'm like, where's the jump scare? Something is gonna happen. 
but you know, nothing, nothing ever did. Oh, this is so cool. How pretty this is. It's an interesting style choice to have music with vocals like that, I feel. But very, very Lord of the Rings-esque. Don't eat those fans. <laughs> hey, I mean, I don't want to say nothing, but let's, let's go this way first. Don't eat the bio bio lumescent mushrooms. Yo. Okay, so I can fall down here. I'm not gonna fall down yet. I'm gonna go check the other side first. It kind of rem 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 uh, reminded me of Yogg's Ron from World of Warcraft. Yeah, this looks like it's just it a circle. The traffic back as far as the Sanford Junction and come up the hard shoulder like radio signals from another star. It took 21 minutes for them to arrive. I watched Paul time it to the second on his watch. Who the fuck lit this candle? <laughs> or how did that candle get lit? Or, or, or how big was that candle? It feels like alien markings of some sort. There's a little can right here. Doesn't it, doesn't it kind of give like a, a bit alien vibe to it? Like it, 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 this, that one specifically, like you were saying, Ryan, it, it reminds me of the Mines of Moria, 100%. go to the mines of Moria. They called it a mine. Alright, let's go down that water slide. Very good, Gimli. You should hear my Smeagol. Dude, look how pretty this is, though. Fuck Smeagol, to be honest. Yeah, you're not wrong. Maybe I should play the Golem game. Should I? Should I play the Golem game? <laughs> I'll make sure I didn't miss anything down here. Oh, what's up? Oh shit. Oh yeah, dude, Ryan, dude, Katie's a. Katie is a huge Lord of the Rings fan. Very, 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 very big Lord of the Rings fan. We've watched it a lot. The extended editions and the regular editions. Yeah, that. Yeah, I've looked at the game, the game reviews, and it's terrible. Absolutely terrible game. Like there's, the, there's just like the objective aspect of it is just ridiculous, and then the graphic aspect of it is re like even more ridiculous. Yeah, it's more so Golem. Smeagol is just a misunderstood guy who got screwed up by a ring. Is a murderer though. He definitely did murder his brother. So. Uh, 
Definitely gives me a uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Lots. Oh, nice. So that's where we jumped from right there. Just so you guys get an eye, oh, I'll show you later. Okay, keep this in mind. A survival game? Well, that's kind of that sounds kind of fun. Who the fuck is lighting these candles? These little tiny mushrooms. I, I would love to play a good Lord of the Rings game. I remember there was one that was like a battle, kind of like you, you created armies, like a like a StarCraft kind of game. And the the, the key was just to make a bunch of uh, bowmen. Just get a bunch of bowmen who could just kill people and then level them up, and they could just fire from super far away. It's pretty much With a the caves in my guts. This must be the place where the stones are first formed. The bacteria phosphoresce and rise, singing through the tunnels. Everything here is bound by the rise and fall, like a tide. Perhaps the whole island is actually underwater. Bro, where do I? Where do I go? I don't know where to go. It's huge. I go left or right, or I can go up, up and around. I guess. I feel, I feel like I'm, I'm try to go right. <laughs> go around Maria, mining for ores and unlocking different sections. Oh, that's pretty cool. Do you, do you find the? Um... Is that what it is? Battle for Middle Earth is like long time ago. Yeah, there's a bunch of emotes, a lot of uh, like co community-wide emotes, which are really fun. Okay, good night. Oh, look at this little Whee! fast travel. Let's go. Here's this. Here, here's the sprinting I wanted. <laughs> All right, night, Katie. Text you. You're gonna, you're gonna time travel. When you wake up, you're gonna be someplace completely different. Dead man tell no tales. Okay, so that was that. Glad we got that out of the way. I just try not to leave any stone untouched or unturned. You know what I mean? Like I think it's just... about forty. 
46 minutes into the game, so I think that maybe about another 45 minutes to an hour. <laughs> Katie's saying maybe you can react to Lord of the Rings on stream for me and Ryan. Actually, I'd be kind of really, I'd be down to react to some Lord of the Rings stuff. If there's any content that would be kind of cool, like behind the scenes, would be really fun to watch. Or like if there's, I wonder if there's like any trivia games that would be fun to play with anybody that likes Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings trivia. I'm really bummed that the point system didn't work how I thought it would. Um, I thought I could give. I thought I was able to give channel points. You're not watching those without me. Why are you calling me a bitch? I didn't say I wasn't gonna do it right now. Verbal abuse. What is this? What are these diamonds? It's like um. Not muscles, but it's like, what, what are they called? Um, ball rock on that. <laughs> this is a drowned man's face reflected in the moonlit waters. It can only be a dead shepherd who has come to drunk drive you home. down here no guess not this is actually kind of cool that you can swim in this game that's not I feel like that's not a normal thing how do I get how do I get out oh, fuck dude how do I get out I supposed to was I supposed to go in here dude dude am I stuck oh okay I got it <laughs> it's like dude what the fuck came from that way, yeah. It's more writing on the walls. Behold, Damascus is taken. Damascus is taken. This is, what is, dude, what is up with this chemical stuff, man? It's super weird. What does that say? Keep and it and 
and it's skull. Skull it looks like all. Be a fungus, fungus heap, fungus heap. I can't really. I don't know what that. I don't know what that says. Ryan, have you been able to play on the on the guitar a lot since you've gotten it? I had gotten it, and then I like almost not immediately, but within like a month or two, I had gotten the World Tour guitar. I, I knew it was it shouldn't be too too bad I, I I don't know I like I would maybe try to get mech frets or something on there if you can because I know like stock it's all stock stuff and it's just so sometimes those frets can be a little bit sticky That's a good. That's a good no, that's a, I was so happy I was able to find that guitar at a at a game store. <laughs> Go towards the light. Buster. No, we. I I could have walked a little bit further down when we were after we went down the waterfall. Look at that! Looks like an eye. Sanford Junction, headlights in your retinas. Donnelly drove a grey hatchback without a bottom. All the creatures of the tarmac rose to sing to him. All manner of symbols crudely scrawled across the cliff face of my unrest. My life reduced to an electrical diagram. All my gulls Let's have go taken that way. flight. They will no longer roost on these outcrops. The lure of the moon over the Sanford Junction is too strong.
really pretty. Water, Esther. Keep your head above water, Esther. Alright, I can't go that far then. Come back. It's been really fun to write the music for this. Because, like, it's not just one motif, it's like it's consistently changing over and over and over again, which is kind of nice. I know I'm going backwards, I'm going to go up this, this way now. I don't, didn't miss anything. Or... paint, luminous paint, premium, longer lasting. Yeah, super ominous. Well, I, I think for sure, for sure we're like a spirit or something, because um, obviously the narrator's talking to us like almost like in a past tense in a sense. Sure. Fire and soil, I chose fire. It seemed the more contemporary of the options, the more sanitary. I could not bear the thought of the reassembly of such a ruin. Stitching arm to shoulder and femur to hip, charting a line of thread like traffic stilled on a motorway, making it all acceptable for tearful aunts and traumatized uncles flown in specially for the occasion. Reduced to ash, mix with water, Make a phosphorescent paint for these rocks and ceilings. Oh shit. It's all the... Utensils. Defi is that a defibrillator? I believe that's what it's called, right? So then this guy apparently mixed her ashes with paint. Is that, what, is that what is that what that is that what he's what he was saying? 
We all grieve in different ways, but it is what it is. What up, Kerr? Thank you for the raid. I appreciate you, man. I've been, I've been, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I've been lurking on you for a minute. That sounds terrible, but you know what I mean. How's your stream, man? Welcome everybody. I'm assuming I I know most of you who who are now here. Um, we're playing a a, a story-based game called Dear Esther. Uh, basically, just a narration. You kind of walk through, and the story unfolds as you continue through the through the environment and stuff like that. Oh, I know that feel. <laughs> I know that feel for sure. You gotta get up sometimes. Like, even with like a, a good chair, it's still like ridiculous. Get up and stretch. And we walked pretty far. Because we were on the other side of that mountain. I think we have a, about a good. A half, a chemical diagram half hour of this game gave left still. Coffee in, sticky at the handle where his hands shook. He worked for a pharmaceutical company with an office based on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. He'd been traveling back from a sales conference in Exeter, forming a strategic vision for the peddling of antacid yogurt to the European market. You could trace the connections with your finger, join the dots, and whole new compounds would be summoned into activity. Him around him around shove heaven from a light from heaven shown above okay a light from heaven shown above Oh yeah, no, I feel yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. All right, I got like get up and get like a snack or something like that. It's definitely helpful. Yeah, I was I forgot who I was talking to about the uh, easy access. Um, From here, thing I you want to do. Armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into twenty-one pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic, and I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. Interesting. Oh yeah, I could definitely, I can definitely ask. Uh, on an. On a sudden, on a sudden, a light from heaven shone around him, and he fell to the ground. It's three eggs. Yeah, this game's really interesting. It's kind of hard. It, I, it's very beautifully made. Like, the graphics are fantastic. I feel like the story is a little, it's a little, like you said, Ryan's a little ominous. It's a little tough to follow at times. Oh, look at that. Here's all the... So this is where... What he was talking about. He wrote all these little things and... All the letters to Esther he wrote to her. Right here. It's kind of pointless to go in the water again. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Firewatch? I have not played Firewatch before. What is that game? Is that is that like a, a story based story based game like this? Really good story game. Oh nice. Yeah, I've been really into these um, ever since I did um, 
I did the, the the Wolf Among Us and and Batman and those kind of games that are just completely really good stories. I've been super into these like story based games. So Ryan recommended me a bunch. This being one of them. Uh, we did the um, what happened with, to Edith Finch, um, Gone Home, Dear Esther, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, uh, The Magnificent Truffle Pigs. There's a few other ones that I was recommended to last night as well. Um, Obviously, this is this isn't like the craziest thing to stream because it's not there's not much going on. But I I do the enjoy the my stories. Legs sent me blind for a few minutes as I struggled up the cliff path. I swallowed another handful of painkillers and now I feel almost lucid. The island around me has retreated to a hazed distance, whilst the moon appears to have descended into my palm to guide me. Titan I can see too. a thick nice. black line of infection reaching for my heart from the waistband of my trousers through the fugue it's all the world like the path i have cut from the lowlands towards the aerial dang as as the nights go on gone on you can definitely see more of the paint trails and things like that there's a guy right there do you am i you guys see that there's a homie right there are we gonna are we gonna meet paul or somebody That's a that's a, that's somebody right there. Uh, I just go down here, I guess. Firewatch. I'm gonna have to I'll have to look up Firewatch. Remember that. All right, watch. As soon as we get up there, he's not gonna be there. It's gonna be fucking annoying. I've begun my voyage in a paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. I can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fiber, the pulped vegetation. When we become waterlogged and the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge and carves parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. It says, and as he was proceeding on his journey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here and see if this fucking guy wants to do something about me being here. See, I knew it. Well, he's not here. I knew it. It was a, it was, it was a figment of my imagination, dude. But isn't this a pretty dope looking game, man? Like, they did a really good job with the graphics and designing this. I'm actually really impressed. I was telling Ryan that I think that it really could have been amplified with a couple of different animals maybe running around. Like, nothing crazy, but more birds, squirrels, you know, rabbits, something that would be, you know, on the island, I feel like would work. But. A d d deer, yeah, right, right, right. You know, because it's huge. It's this huge plains. But I know I, I'm glad you guys are here because I know I saw that guy. Uh, and has come near to to dance. Or D Damascus, Damascus. That's right. Damascus has been a word. <laughs> drink, and we saw this one before too. And, and neither Donnelly did he had eat nor drink. This, he would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island. So he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. And he was three days without sight. Alright, we're definitely moving along here. Totally color change. That was, an interesting, that was a good pat, like color palette. Like a gr green, or not green. Red, oranges. Blood orange, purple. 
That's what I'm saying. Like the choir, like super eerie and spooky. That's why I was like, it's kind of an, a weird choice to use a choir in a game like this. Like I think strings could have just back fucked. like a nail, like a hangnail, like a drowning man clung onto the wheel, drunk and spiraled, washed onto the lost shore under a moon as fractured as a shattered wing. We cleave, we are flight and suspended. These wretched painkillers, this form inconstant. I will take flight. I will take flight. So this guy commits suicide? Same thing, dude. What does this mean? I don't I don't know chemistry. Yeah, very um, very ominous, very kind of dissonant chords. So you gotta go up. So definitely expecting to find somebody eventually or run into somebody eventually. Imagine a Breaking Bad game. Dude, I, I'd be on top of that Breaking Bad game like nothing. I'd buy that instantly, that'd be so cool. I wonder if they would ever do that, like a, a not a making meth simulator, but like a, like a something along those lines, like an anti-hero kind of. I guess Grand Theft Auto is kind of like that, but it's not really the focus so much on the whole drug business. This is a little tough tough to read. A gull perched on a spent bonnet, sideways, whilst the sirens fell through the middle distance and the metal moaned in grief about us. I'm about this night in walking. Old bread and gull bones. Old Donnelly at the bar gripping his drink. Old Esther walking with our children. Old Paul as ever. Old Paul. He shakes and he shivers and he turns off his lights alone. Oh no. Was I was I walking with kids? We got hit we got hit by a drunk driver. So this is my my husband that's writing to me and the husband couldn't deal with the death of his wife Esther and the kids and so he tried to numb his pain with painkillers or you know pills and stuff but he couldn't take it so he went out to see with all the letters he wrote Damascus Hey, 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 hey. What the fuck is that? There's someone there. There's someone there. I am the Ariel. In my passing, I will send news to each and every star. I mean, this is it. I knew we had to get get up here eventually, but I was just like... Dear Esther, I have burnt my belongings, my books, this death certificate. Mine will be written all across this island. Who was Jacobson? Who remembers him? Donnelly has written of him, 
But who was Donnelly? Who remembers him? I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from him. There will be another to these shores to remember me. I will rise from the ocean like an island without bottom, come together like a stone, become an aerial, a beacon, that they will not forget you. We've always been drawn here. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent. I, I honestly have been really impressed with this with this music. Come back, Esther. This this music and like I said, the Edith Finch music was so good. So light from heaven shown above which I guess that could be the whole red light thing I guess maybe. you know what maybe the choir the use of the choir could be I guess like the symbol of, of angels or something like that or a seagull So we weren't we weren't playing we weren't playing Esther we were playing her husband then I for some reason I thought it was Esther and every time he says come back it's it's like he's sad that his wife is gone that's pretty that's pretty dark it took me a while to like kind of piece it together because there's just, there was so much text and the way of his speaking was so grand it was kind of hard to decipher a lot of it because it was just so much. My name is Paul. It was very interesting. Because it's a good good chill chill story. Not chill story, but you know, very very easy to, to go through that game. I think I finished pretty quick too, which was kinda nice. Um, I think the average the average time the average time that I would want that I saw uh, on uh on YouTube was like an hour and a half so I, I'm about an hour and 15 minutes hour hour 20 for gameplay that's not too bad I think I missed a couple things I think there's a couple spots I could have gone left or right um, obviously it probably just ends up at the same spot but there's definitely definitely things I could have done why is there no music playing during these credits I'm gonna watch if you guys don't mind. I'm gonna watch a video on on this, like not nothing too crazy, but just like a little explanation of, of things. Just as I'd like to do that after after video games or, or movies sometimes, just to make sure I didn't you know didn't don't miss any anything. Um, we did that for Gone Home, and it was nice to kind of get a, a, a another perspective on on things. You know, the people that catch things that you may have missed. Yeah, that was a very good. That was a very good. Uh, 
very good, Gary. Very good game. I think the, the, the thing that for me was kind of confusing was the 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 drawings, the, the paintings on the in the caves and, and all that stuff like that. Like painting words made sense. You know, if he was he was going to commit suicide, you know, and he goes up there. Um, it was the it was like the the the, the chemical paintings and things like that it just didn't really make sense to me. Like what? Did did did, did, did someone else? Did you, one of you guys get that? If I missed, did I miss something? Oh, here we go. There's a nice little four minute one. That's nice. This would be pretty, pretty chill. Dear Esther has been a difficult story to properly understand, but now, after two attempted theories and three scripts, I'm ready to tell you what has happened during your playthrough. Right. He just, there was so much text. You know what I mean? It's almost, it was almost, it, it was almost overbearing or overwhelming to have that much text thrown at you at once. You know what I mean? It just, I don't, for me at least. Firstly, let's discuss where the game is set. Many years ago, the island was sparsely populated. Two people that did live there were Jacobson and Donnelly. Jacobson planned to build a small house where he could raise animals and start a family. Right. However, just as he finished construction, he died. Donnelly was a writer and was writing about the history of the island, including the story of Jacobson. His book was published and found in a library by the narrator and his wife, Esther. They loved the book and visited the island often. Mm -hmm. Esther and the narrator are married and live in England together. Whilst driving on the M5, a man named Paul crashes his car into them, killing right. Esther instantly. Paul right. has alcohol on his breath, but is found not to be over the legal limit. The narrator uh... recovers from the accident in the hospital and once released goes to visit Paul. See, this is this is where I fucked up. I, and during this part, I went I went backwards. I thought I maybe I could find something backwards, like when at the very beginning when I went underwater, and so I didn't see this. I, I missed this part. To connect with him and to tell him that there is no hard feelings. Despite this, Paul is racked with guilt and can't move on, so kills himself. The narrator struggles to move on and moves to Jacobson's hut on the island, reading Donnelly's book to feel close to his dead wife. As he gets older, his health deteriorates. Near the end of his life, he takes a final walk around the island as he makes comparisons between his life and the book, symbolising by the dreamlike sequences we experience. Finally, we see the narrator, ill and tired, deciding to join Esther, and so jumps from a lighthouse. Right. He meets Esther on the other side, which is symbolised at the end. I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from it. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent. I actually, this is actually very, it was a very beautiful moment as this fall you know what i mean um i don't know if, if i don't know if you, any of you have ever gone skydiving um it's an it's an insane feeling to just be falling down like that like almost just this loss of control and it's like there's almost just every everything about life is just gone. You're not worried about bills, pain, relationships. You're just in the air, and it's just it's such a such a a, a present 
present pushing moment for people. Like, I just, it, it's impossible to think about anything else. You know what I mean? Oh, hell yeah, it hurts. That's dope as hell, dude. I, I did, I did skydiving in Hawaii, and I did it here in California. The Hawaii was a thousand times better. Um, just because, I mean, you're surrounded by the ocean, and greenery and all that stuff like that is it's 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 a wonderful experience so is it is that will, will that be her first time skydiving nice are, are you are you going to or are you not you're not gonna go Okay, so this doesn't answer the... This doesn't answer the... Um, the paintings, though. I, I, the art of Esther, the building environment of the landmark, all Easter eggs, car parts, okay. Go. Ghosts, ghosts. Ooh, interesting. The poem that was mistake. The poem that was mistaken for a game. That's a good way. To, that's a good way to, to say that. It definitely does seem more as a poem. Uh, I I can definitely get that 100. She's been talking about it for the last few years. Here to take it. It is very scary, to be honest. It's it's definitely one of the most it's scary things. Um, but. Honestly, like I, I would recommend it to anybody to just try it once. It is very, very scary, but it's like, man, oh, it's it's one of the best feelings in the world. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, Kerm, if you ever can, man, then do it. If you can do it by the ocean, definitely do it. Yeah. That, definitely do it. Just something about being so that so high up and you seeing the land and the ocean and just the vastness of Earth. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, one of my bucket list items was to fall through a cloud. I, that was like one of my things I wanted to do in life was like fall through a cloud. Like, cause who who, fuck, who does that? You know what I mean? And so I was able to do that in Hawaii. It was so cool. Just you're just falling down and you just feel the mist as you go through the cloud. It's just. It, beautiful and then because then, then you're just chilling there for a little bit you know when you're when you're if you go tandem which i recommend going for the first time i think you kind of have to when you have someone uh, with you and it's just really cool because you're just sitting there you know and you're just <sighs> but for the first you know that first like 15 seconds of free fall 10 15 seconds of free fall man dude it, it goes by like that but it's a it's a rush Oh, I didn't see this ghost. Where's this ghost? Oh, interesting. This little light right here. But yeah, the, the skydiving is amazing. Yo, what? Did you guys see that? Did you see that? You see that? Look right to the left right here. This ghost. Oh, that's so crazy. This guy right here, a little ghost right here. That's wild, dude. Do you know how? Remember Ryan, how you were saying it's super ominous. Now knowing that these that there's these ghosts, and I did, obviously we didn't catch it till the very end. Um, it makes sense why the chorus is is was put in the audio now. Like it's 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 subliminal. It's just, it's so subliminal. It's so cool. There's another little ghost right here. Another ghost right here, a little light. Yeah, we saw this one. I remember seeing this one. Definitely saw that one. Yeah, same one. Saw that one right there. Esther's urn. Wow. 
closing books. Man. Man, there's a lot in this game. The nest with broken eggs, she was pregnant. Oh man. I remember seeing the, the three eggs at the very end. Mm-hmm. Never seeing these. Ultras ultrasound. Wow, good job to the developers for putting all these little little Easter eggs and, and things in here. You know, it definitely gives it a gives it some replay value, which is kind of cool. Um, I will fi we'll finish this one, guys. If, if there's some good there's some good React content that I I, I would love to have you guys join join me in and have some good conversations and stuff. The wedding ring. That's so small of a detail. Sailboat symbols. Oh man. Dude, how did I miss all this stuff? I mean you have to you have to be looking for this, I guess. Cause I remember looking at the water here. Yeah. I thought those were just rocks. I think what makes this game too is the voice acting. He definitely did a really good job because it was just him, you know. Um, I think that was really, really well done. The voice acting for games makes or breaks a game, 100%. You know, a prime example is like you know Lee and Clementine. You know those those actors are are, are they they made that game so good that you you felt everything. You know, especially at the end. someone had died or was dying or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice they cut parallel lines into the cliff exposing the white chalk beneath you could see them from the mainland or the fishing boat and know to send aid or impose a cordon of protection and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts my lines are just for this to keep any would-be rescuers at bay. There were chemical diagrams on the mug he gave me coffee in. Sticky at the handle where his hands shook. Okay. It's just, yeah. It's just, again, it just happened. It's so quick. It's almost like I need to pause sometimes. <laughs> uh, it 